this is a part three video. Uh, mentally wise like 
all in every in every aspect that's what i want from him and i want us to have that together and not to be scared to be vulnerable with somebody because when you are vulnerable with somebody that means you trust them wholeheartedly like you trust them the way you trust god not in a bad way like but like you trust them like beyond anything and i want that i want that look the way god look that's what the guy I told you when I shot my shot priest, like he told me the way God loves the church, that's the type of love that you should aspire to want. And I'm just like, and that's the love that I want. And I want you to love me the way God loves the church. Because I'm going to love you the way God loves the church. And I want us to love God together and be there together. Yes, I am a hopeless romantic, but at the same time, you're not going to tell me that I'm not going to get what I want because that's some holding out for. Like, I kind of braided this hair so there's nothing left to braid to and I'm still playing talk to y'all. But that's what that's what I want. That's what I'm that's what I'm focused on. Um I don't know. Like the type of sacrifice that God gave for us. That's what I want in a in a man, in a relationship, in a love. Like I want that type of love knowing that you're willing to die for somebody like legit wholeheartedly. i don't want you to love me more than god but i want you to love me the way god loved the church don't love me more than god because that's the love i don't want let me be clear i do not want that i don't want you more to have me <laughs> but i want the love god gave to the church that's what i want the sacrifice the wholeheartedness the openness the vulnerability the nakedness like all of it i want that because i'm gonna give that to you I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to, I'm going to give it to you. Give it to you. Like, I'm going to give it to you, and I want you to give me that back in return. You feel me? <laughs> but no. <laughs> and why do I keep doing it? But and that's what I want, okay? So, um, yeah. That's, that's, that's what I mean by when it comes to... Like, that's just a little bit. Like, that ain't really just... I love, but, like, that's the main gist of it. I don't want just some physical type relationship. I don't think we got a sex. I ain't nothing like what because like what are you what are you without sex that's the question what is your relationship without sex i can tell you with my relationship without sex and it's easy for me to tell you one i don't have a relationship <laughs> i forgot i was sore and that level was just too hard for my body today but one i don't have a relationship that's why it's so easy for me to tell you what my relationship is without sex. My relationship with God is amazing. <laughs> like, that's the main thing. Two, obviously I ain't having sex. I got a relationship. <laughs> so, my relationship is everything. Like, legit. But um, on a serious note, what is your relationship without sex? What, like, what do you have? Like, how long have y'all been with that? Have y'all gone without having sex? And, like, do you have a conversation? Is it like... Because I'm not the jealous type. I'm not jealous. I'm not crazy. I'm not none of that. I don't have a problem with you looking at another woman. I know the fact that she beautiful. Because if a woman is beautiful, I'm going to tell you she beautiful. If a man is handsome, I'm going to tell you he's handsome. And you should not have a problem with that. And if me telling you that, because I won't have a problem with you saying that about another woman. Because you're supposed to acknowledge other people. It is what it is. If y'all, if you're in your relationship, all you do is argue because you jealous or he jealous. And y'all looking at other people. Y'all just like, y'all conversations are... Just like being a junior high all over again. What did you get from this? You're supposed to be with somebody who you can grow with, who you can be better with. That's what I want. I want you to bring to the table what I'm bringing to the table. I want us to grow together. I want us to be better together. I want us to be together. I don't want no done Jay-Z and Beyonce type relationship. No respect to them. Love it. Do you? Love y'all. Cool beans. I want Jesus in the church type relationship. Like, I want to build an empire. I want an amazing empire. Built on faith. Because if you are based off of faith, if you are deeply rooted in faith, there's no, there's nothing, nothing you cannot handle. There are no, yes, there are bad days. But you cannot sit and tell me you can't handle it because someone gets too heavy for you because God got it. There is no divorce when your relationship is built in faith. There is no infidelity. There is no jealousy. There is no hatred. There is no resentment. There, it's, there's just God. It's you, me. And God. And that's what I want, guys. That's what I want.
I'm going from screen to mirror to camera to mirror to screen to camera to mirror to whatever. I'm trying to braid this hair. But I just want me to tell y'all about my man. Y'all tell me what you think. <laughs> what is your relationship with that sex? What what do, what do you have? Uh, do you actually see yourself being with this person? Do you see yourself building? Does this person make you better? Do you make them better? Because if y'all not getting growth from it, if y'all cannot say that y'all have been together, how old am I? 25. My parents been married for 23 years, 22 years. They've been together for 27 years, 28, however long it's been. If you don't, and, and they still grow. They grow individually, and they grow together. Like, she grew up, my mom grows as a woman, my daddy grows as a man, and they grow as a married couple in God. And if you've been with somebody for however ever long, y'all not growing, like, ain't nothing there. What's your purpose? My Even better, my papa and my granddad got married the same year I was born, I think. They've been together for forever. They got married the same year I was born or well before I was born. I'm so confused. They got together when my mom was 15. They got married in 94, maybe. <laughs> I really don't know, guys. But, yeah, they did because my cousin was a baby and we ended up a couple months apart. They got married in 94, and they still grow together, still grow together, still go to church together, do everything together. Like, that's what I want. That's what I want. My granddaddy and my grandma Victoria, they married. They still grow together. Everybody have their hard times. They still grow together. Like, are you growing? This is why I'm, I'm holding out for the guy that I have envisioned in my mind, the guy that I know God. Y'all yeah, high school. The guy that I know God built for me and is preparing for me, just like he is preparing me for him. Because I want that, and I'm going to get that. I just got to hold out for it. It's just hoping and praying to God that I don't be 85. Excuse me, because I think I worked. <laughs> that I don't be 85, and then just not meet this man, and then I got to try to find, have a baby at the age of 85. Because I'm telling you, if I'm 85 when I meet him, I'm going to try to push out a child at 85. Why? Because there's something wrong with me. Hope I ain't been with the menopause. <laughs> but yes, that's the end of my little dream guys situation. Yeah, if this, mm -mm, I didn't even see it. But hopefully, I found me a nice little old companion and things work out well. You know what I'm saying? I'm so confused. I'm still so lifting my head up. Um, that's the end of this little thingy or whatever. I'm about to stop doing my hair because I want to go go to the park and go get some laps in and go play ball. And my knee. Ooh, okay. Okay, bye.